shower. After the shower. Before the shower. <laughs> Bob, notice that. After, no. you, after you brush your teeth, make doodle shower. <laughs> Everything is all. No, you. Man, I'm on track. Man. <laughs> so long as I don't have to deal with the early. Sometimes there's like really crazy early morning traffic. Other than that, yeah, it's a smooth ride in. Yeah, and I, I think it's good to talk about that subject traffic because I, you know, coming back from the mainland, I did notice that traffic is, uh, uh, yeah, it's just pretty well, congested know, in the as islands. As the no, it's nothing like the 405, <laughs> bro. It's, 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 I, I want to tell the Hawaiians, traffic, you like you traffic, know, come, come up California. You know why? The 405 is different because it's like looking as far as you can see and no more end. Yeah. At least here, you yeah. can see oh, right. right. off you know, And you know you're cut off coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we got, I think, I think one of the things that the Hawaii people, we, we have to work on is, 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 you know, that whole road rage, you know, ridiculous, yeah? yeah? You can get, we got, you know, we have to have manners, you gotta be rage. polite. You need rage five. Yeah, no. I mean, the kind of rage <laughs> we need is reawaking the greatness kind of rage, yeah? But keep our patience and remember, you know, some of the people out there are, are, are kapunas and, you know, people that are maybe handicapped. You know, and they, they have just as much right to be on the road and as you know, us. And traffic is only usually like at peak times at, yeah. at really certain times. Yeah. Because if you catch it like, you know, at about 5 a.m., smooth right in. Yeah. It's 6 30, 7 30. Yeah. Maybe we should talk about uh, frustration today. I think so. It's a good good subject <laughs> because uh, a lot of people are feeling frustrated yeah, these days. Maybe you can help with some things we can do. We'll talk to Ray today. Don't go anywhere. Speaking up, let's take a look what's happening on the streets with the. Who were you guys when you first heard that song? I was were? wiping my brother's <laughs> Okole. Okay. Well, you know, that song came out uh, almost 20 something years ago, right? And I was. I uh, think longer than that. Maybe, okay. Sweet Okole. I think longer than that. that. That's, that's well, the I'm 70s, like, eh? Yeah, Kiola and Capono. That's 70s. Yeah. Okay. So, 70, so 80, when no, I about first caught on to the music, I was already wiping my brother's <laughs> okay. Because I, I don't know, I remember just, you know, as I was cleaning the doodle diaper, yeah. just singing the song. You know, it's funny. Background. Me and Augie have the same story because he was the oldest and I was the oldest. And I'm the and oldest too. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. And we had to take care of our brothers. Same here, bro. Wipe Okole. <laughs> Ray Johnson I, is here, ladies. I, I, I Thank you. Know what diapers that we had? Yeah. Was it like disposable? No, you had to go to the bro. toilet. He had to like clean. I, I, I have to admit, I don't remember wiping my brother's Okole. Oh, really? Lucky. Yeah. Lucky, yeah. I, I, maybe my mom took care of all well, that. We had stuff. I don't oh. know. Towels. Yeah, I remember yeah. the cloth diapers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you had to you wash. Had to clean them Yeah, yeah bro. I, that I remember. And you go to school, you know why she fit your hand good. <laughs> You know, oh, yeah, all like, yeah. you know what? I never have antibacterial yeah, soap. <laughs> you know, smell like peas. Peas wow. and a little bit, you oh, know. Bro. Kukai. Peas and kukai. All mixed that, that, that's love. That's love, man. That's love. <laughs> Ray Johnson hanging out with us today. Here's Tai Mani on 99.1. Hawaii, no go oi. Valuable, valuable advice. Well, way back in the day, one of the first books I read is a book by Carnegie called How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. I got to get that book. It's a very, very powerful you gotta book. You got to get that book. But you can, you can substitute. You know what I've learned? I, you know what I learned? Like, I'm, I'm going I'm to blast for a moment, and then I'm going to just let them go. Yeah, uh, you're going yeah. to let them out and let them go. Which is a, which is, which is a, and let it go. Yeah, yeah, which is a technique. Which is I one of the techniques. Book, by the way. Blast for a moment and let go. <laughs> But let me let me tell you something. So worrying and frustration can be one in the same, so to speak. Yeah, you can uh, uh, substitute it out. But what the book taught, in essence, is simply this: there are things in this world you can control, uh -huh. and there's things in this world that you cannot control. <laughs> okay, yeah. understand the difference between the two. Yeah. So here's what it boils down to: what can we control? Here's what we can control. Here's what we have the ability and the opportunity to control. We can control our own thoughts mm -hmm. because we're thinking it. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can control our own words, what comes out of our mouth, and we control our own actions. Mm. So our thoughts, our words, and our deeds. And these things make up our attitude. Our attitude. So these things we do have control over. We can get frustrated or we can be fascinated. We've been talking about attitude a lot. Lately. Attitude is everything. everything. Attitude yeah. truly is everything. Yeah? yeah. Um, so... Those are the things we can control. Now, what are the things we cannot control? Traffic, <laughs> weather, yeah. other people's attitudes. Yeah. Listen closely, people. Yeah. Other people's attitudes. Right. 
And Sometimes, so you shouldn't let it bother you. I mean, easier said than done. Right. I know, I get that. And you guys might be sh yelling back at the radio at me and say, oh, yeah, bro, easy for say. I get it, you know. But it's something worthy of working on because, you know, the, the field that I come from is the field of direct sales. I spent many years in that field. And one of the first things they taught us is that our attitude is everything. Right. And we used to say, hey, bro, don't mess with my attitude. It's the way I make my living. Because if your attitude goes south, so does everything else. So does your, your knowledge, your everything. skills, your abilities go down the drain. Yeah. I don't care how good you are potentially. If your attitude sucks, your performance is going to suck. Yeah. Everything's going to suck. You know, So it's really important to keep that in mind and never forfeit your attitude for, for someone else's bad attitude. Because you know, we all have bad days. Yeah. yeah, but don't let that infect you because if it infects you, now it's going to affect everyone else you come into contact with. That's a road Your own rage family, company. yeah, and all, and all <laughs> of that stuff. And it does take practice. I'm not saying it's easy. Yeah. But with practice, we can get good at anything. You heard that? There you go. Relax, Relax breathe, breathe listen to 991, listen to some sweet yeah, yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, take yeah. a look what's happening on the streets with that traffic. <laughs> good morning. On the west side, teams. This will be for a job. And now he homesick because he like eat opium. Well, I know, uh, <laughs> I know David Dieck is tuning in in Tennessee. Tennessee, wow. correct? Are these you know, guys from Hawaii that yeah, relocated? No, well, they, you know, they lived here for for a little bit, okay. and then, yeah. So, what's up, David Dieck and his wife Amanda and uh, Josh? They're Josh. all tuning in right now in Tennessee. That's right. so awesome. Yeah. You can listen anywhere in America. I love that. Yeah. I hope my dad is listening. Dad, you listening? Where is he at? He's in Kansas. Yes, Kansas. You got a Hawaiian in Kansas City, Kansas, yeah, eating ahead. some barbecue. We're not in Kansas anymore. We're not. Time <laughs> a couple times and leave. You know what's so cool is that people from all around, what, is this a global yeah. uh, station? Well, people can well, listen? Just, on, just uh, United just States. America, yeah. Just yeah, America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be soon, though, I hear. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, I man. We can spread that. the aloha through the radio waves. Yep. Yep. Ray Johnson is uh, here hanging out with us every Thursday, Motivational Thursday. Uh, when are you going to do a book, Ray? That's the next thing in the works, actually. Yeah. I, I got some really cool things in the works. People have been asking me for these things, and it's, it's I think it's time for me to start putting work into have you, it. Have you been writing already? Or? Yeah, I write. I do, actually. I, I write a lot. I journal a lot. Yeah. I journal a lot, and I have so much that's inside of me that want to come out, and so I express it through my seminars and through my private coaching currently. Yeah. But I think to really leverage my, my body of work, it's, it'll be good to come out with a book. Yeah. Do you, do you physically write with a pen? I physically write. Yeah. Yeah, it's I find it about physically writing i agree you, it, it, it's so much better but then you got to do two jobs because now you got to transfer it into the computer correct no, yeah 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 and not, <laughs> not only that but like you got to really take a deep look at yourself and sometimes it's hard going yeah. okay uh do i want to expose everything you know because uh, then you're writing you're gonna go yeah at some point because i stopped because i was like oh wait wait but now i'm ready to get back well one of, one of the things that i, I do teach is journaling Mm -hmm. You know, a, a life worth living is a life worth documenting. You know, so you Good. document you document these things, and it's very powerful. And and back to the comment about freehand writing versus yeah. using a you know a, a word processor or, or computer. Something about free freehand writing that when you take your hand, your fingers to the pen and onto paper, you know, it's like from your heart, your spirit through your hands, through your body, there's something about that process that seems more real, genuine, and sincere. And then one day, yeah. and then one day that going to cost more than a book yeah, that's it, printed it on a For sure. Yeah, for they sure. Might, they might you know, hang, it the, hang it in the hard rock. Yeah, either that or, you know, Smithsonian. <laughs> <laughs> I went to, uh, the, uh, you know, the History Channel, they have that pawn shop. Yeah. I went to a that, that pawn shop, this mm -hmm. was like six months ago, and they had one of the first Bibles in there. Guess how much is it sold for? One of the first Bibles? Yes. From that time period of when, when the Bible was first released, there was one of the first. And the thing was about this fat, I mean, 10 inches kind. It, it was $18,000 for this Bible. You couldn't open it because oh, yeah, the it was pages were so Yeah, brittle. The sum of it was. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was a bit pretty amazing, and it was authentic, too. I mean, but yeah, you talk about handwritten stuff. It brings out more of a... I don't know. It's because you're putting in more more, more of your soul or something. Yeah, yeah. But uh, look at look before the printing press, you guys. Imagine that's how knowledge was passed down. Yeah. Freehand. Yeah. We we either wrote 
uh, we spoke in stories. We yeah. told stories, and that helped to preserve our culture and our livelihood. That's how generationally we learned about how to survive. And if you're an artist from Hawaii, write down your music. Most artists don't write, you know, over here. They don't write just because it's the top. Of it's all head. all in the yeah, head. You yeah. need to write it down. Don't go anywhere. We got uh, Ray Johnson hanging out with us. CNK now here with you on 99.1. Hawaii no koi. I Yo, will be there. Oh, you're going to be here too? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do all new material. Oh, oh, I, I oh looking that. forward to it. Yeah. But I tell you, <laughs> you still, that, that, <laughs> hey, Lana, I see that. the bathroom <laughs> joke yeah. still cracked me up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, I <always laughs> that bro, you know, that is a, that's a good a, one. That's that's a, so, so if you want to hear a nice bathroom joke, you got to show up. So long as you put 100% commitment to it, it's a winner. You know what's, you know what's really, to me, really inspiring is, is performers, yeah, who got to go up there day in, day out, night in, night out. And do the same material and do it with enthusiasm. Well, you know, Augie always says, he always says, you guys think this is easy. It's one of the hardest things to do, period. Even if it's no, new yeah, or, or old. Of you know? course, of course, of course, For man. Me it is, I know. You, you're, you're up on stage and you, you, you have people in the audience and you know no one knows that better than me that's what i do as well it's Especially hypnotic it's harder when you're insecure well, we <laughs> <laughs> well, but, I mean, but we're well, working on that we're working on that you gotta you gotta keep them entertained for an hour ten yeah you know even like you, trying to try to keep somebody focused for i've had them sitting with ring and staying focused for five <laughs> can you imagine an audience that come in yeah. yeah but i have to tell you augie attended rage four and that's yeah. eight hours uh, you know, but let me tell you, it's not eight hours of boring stuff. It's not like school, man. Yeah. We go in there, we have a good time. It's very stimulating. It's going to, because we're going to touch and talk about subject matters that's near and dear to you. Yeah. And if it's important to you, you're going to pay attention. That's right. So if it's not ready. important, hey. And we, yeah, get, do get ready. Cause and we'll have more information on that coming up Please soon. stay posted. Yeah, yeah we, we're, I'm getting really excited about this. All right, Ray, we'll see you next Thursday. Aloha. Yes, man, next Thursday Ray for sure. Ray Johnson, go check out his website, <laughs> rayg.com. RageNow.com oh, Hui ho, everybody Here comes Bo Napoleon Another rainbow on 99.1 Hawaii no koi Whoa, ho Whoa, ho Whoa, ho Oh, ho When you take the stars out the sky They'll be...